Um, but before we jump into all of this, I'm hoping that we can kind of start it out just as kind of like to frame off our discussion to kind of define what privilege is, because I think that that's where a lot of this tension comes from, right? So there are two definitions that I want to share with you. So the first one is from like good old Webster's Dictionary. And privilege as defined by that is a special right, advantage, or immunity granted or available to only a particular group or person. Right. If you talk about privilege in sociology, that examines the social, economic, and political advantages, advantages excuse me, given to a group on the basis of sex, race, finances, all that type of thing, okay, pause right? Really quickly, just so I can make sure that I'm sure. understanding. And uh, so we're talking about systemic privilege, systemic discrimination versus yes. sociological, cultural. And and what you were tweeting me were examples. Uh, I guess you would probably argue sociological examples of male yes. privilege. Well, they're societal examples of male privilege because right. sociology is kind of the study of how privilege influences these different systems. So society is a system, as is economics is a system, as is politics is a system. So the examples that I were sending you were examples of social privileges that men have. Okay. But when we talk about privilege well, from privilege the top that, down. That me specifically. Uh, well, I guess I guess this would apply to to all males because this this is how yeah. we made contact. So I do want to I appreciate your apology yeah. on the change my mind thing. Yeah. Um, it's a segment we've been doing for a while. And I know you mentioned mm -hmm. that you got some threats from people and some terrible comments, which, yeah. listen, I mean, I, I won't apologize for them because I didn't make them. But I'm sorry you had to no. deal with that. Uh, yeah, thank you. That's and never my intention that. ever. Mm -hmm. um, and I know you, you, you asked me, you know, as a male, if I'd gotten similar threats from from followers. Uh, if I'd been asked that I would be raped for expressing an opinion. I'm, I'm sure now that you've done a little more research on who I am that you're you're probably aware this is not a privilege I enjoy. Yeah, yes, and 100%. I, and again, I, I get all of that now. But um, the reason why I wanted to define privilege to you is that a lot of people consider privilege, when we talk about male privilege, they think of it more as like an adjective, when in reality it's actually a noun. So it's something like... Privilege isn't something that you necessarily, or men in general, are necessarily, um, you know, exercising over someone else. In. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I know that one of the jokes you like to make is there's no secret patriarchy meeting coming together and being like, here's how we're going to oppress women. Like, sure, men's rights groups exist in this country and they may feel that way, but on the whole, this is not what this is, right? What we're talking about when we talk about male privilege is the fact that historically, men have been in positions of power. And because they have been in these positions of power, they tend to frame the way things are. And because of that, they, you know, they, they have privileges that women don't necessarily have. Okay. And that's can, privilege can I come across in here the board. Sure. Yeah. Right, just I, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I want to make sure you have, you have the full, we have plenty of time. So there's, there's no rush yeah. here. Um, because you've just discussed men in power, and since they've been in power, the structures that be that provide privileges to yeah. them. So that would seem an example of systemic. So let's start with that and then get to societal. Um, right. Can you give me any examples, I guess, right now, 2018, of privileges, rights afforded systemic, systemically to males, not afforded to females? Well, so, okay, so uh, this is, again, why I have a problem with the term privilege. I actually prefer the term advantage over privilege because, I, again, I think that people get really caught up in the idea of privilege. Uh, okay, okay, well, let's say advantage, privilege, but you just mentioned men sure. in power, right? So let's just, let's go with this. Sure. White men in power in this country for a long time, uh, mostly men in power right now in 2018. There are a lot of female politicians, a lot of minorities, but let's, so let's go with that. What rights since you brought up people in power, these people in power, right, they've created the structures that be. Right now, the structures that be exist in 2018. Mm -hmm. Any rights or advantages, privileges afforded to men, not officially afforded to women in 2018? Well, what we are arguing here is that you guys are benefiting from a system where you guys were initially the only people in power, right? You guys have like a centuries long head start on us. And because of that, these things don't change immediately. So sure, women are equal to men um, in that we can vote, in that, you know, women um, are just as able to um, ascend to CEO positions mm -hmm. in all this type of thing. All of that is available to us. But since men have been in power for longer than women have had the opportunity to 
be in power, you guys have a little bit of a head start on us. And we all know that it's very difficult to change people's minds about something, sure. right? Okay. I want, before um, we move on to I just want to make sure that yeah. we would both agree on the premise, no rights not afforded. Sure. True. On paper, there are no rights that a man okay. has over a Okay, woman. well, I just I wanted to clarify because you mentioned government yeah. systems of power, and so people will hear that and right away, and I do feel that a lot totally. of the left do that kind of, I'm not saying you're doing that, but as a bait and switch, like, well, the systems of power that be, and so people go, oh, wait, hold on a second. What rights out there are, are, are unequally distributed? What rights are not afforded? So we bo we both agree, okay, there are no rights afforded yeah. to men, not to women, okay. But, and, and sure. so, so, sure. everything is so everything is societal. Everything we're talking about today, then, is societal. Sure. Yes. Okay. But, but, so, but, so this is why I, I like to bring up like men in power, men in positions of power. Uh, another term that we get tripped up on a lot is the term patriarchy, right? Like I know that the right hates that term patriarchy. And I think that it's because a lot of times it's just funny. we don't, uh, yeah, it's, it's funny, but if it's, it's literally defined as a system or society or society no, a system of society or government in which men hold the power and women are women are largely excluded from it. Mm -hmm. You can agree that that is the way things have been for most of history, right? You, you and I can agree on that. Well, no, not if we're talking about societally. No. No, I'm I'm talking politically, a system of society or government. So let's talk government. Right. Which men so hold we, the power. Right, so now we're going back to systemic. So systemically, yes, for example, women didn't have the right to vote until uh, men passed laws that they, that they could, sure. yes. But yeah. I, I want to make sure we compartmentalize those because we've now moved on to societally. Because even if you go back then, you look at the temperance movement, you look at uh, the influence that women had in politics, and you look at prohibition, they had every bit as much as, uh, of influence and power, they just weren't necessarily in official positions of government. So now we're kind of blurring those systemic and societal but see, those lines, the, the, those are not hard to find lines because one hand washes the other when it comes to this type of thing. When it comes to privilege, it's all kind of interconnected because patriarchy is also defined as a system of society in which the father or eldest male is head of the family and you could, dis, you could trace descent through the male line, right? So it's all, whether it's society, whether it's government, men are in charge.